Hello class, this is section 7.4 and in this video we are going to work through an example of the convolution. So let's calculate the convolution of f and g when f t is equal to t and g t is equal to e raised to the power of t. And also let's then verify that the convolution property works, that the Laplace transform of f convolved with g is Laplace transform of f times Laplace transform of g. Let's get to it. So t, wrong color but that's okay convolve with et is equal to integral from t to 0. So remember, for the convolution, we put the first function with tau and the second function with t minus tau, d tau. And let's just expand that out. dt times e minus tau, d tau. So t is a constant with respect to tau, which we are integrating in, so we can just pull that out. We have et times integral of t to 0 from tau e minus tau d tau. So this is clearly an integral that requires integration by part, so let's do that. Let's let u be this part, and let this be dv. In that case, we have u equals tau, du equals 1, and we also have dv equals e minus tau, and so v must be minus e minus tau. Well, okay. And this is, of course, equal to, we have the et, which we can leave outside, of course, equal to u times v minus, let's see what it looks like. And so we have u is tau, we have v as minus e minus tau, and this is going from uh, tau from 0 to t minus v, so this is going to be an integral, minus minus e minus tau, and du is just 1, and this is just going to be terms of uh, d tau, and also from 0 to t. And what we have is that et times minus t e minus t and tau 0, so this is going to be 0, that's the first part, minus the integral, which is going to be an integral of uh, t0 dt, so this is just going to be equal to e minus tau also from tau equals 0 to tau equals t. And what we have is et times minus t e minus t minus e minus t plus 1. And multiplying the et out, we get minus t minus 1 plus e to the t. And there you have it, the, the convolution of t and e to the t is just minus t minus 1 plus e to the t. So let's check. So we have Laplace of t, and we look at our table. We have the Laplace of t. So this is uh, what we have here. We need n equals 0, so we have just um, 0 factorial is 1, so we just have 1 over s squared equals 1 over s squared. The plus transform of e to t, and consult our table. Here we need um, a equals 1, so we have 1 over s minus 1. And the Laplace transform of minus t minus 1 plus et 
is just going to be minus 1 for s squared minus the plus transform of 1. The plus transform of 1 is just going to be 1 over s minus 1 over s plus 1 over s minus 1. But this is just going to be equal to minus 1 minus s over s squared plus 1 over s minus 1. And equalizing the denominators, we are going to have minus 1 minus s times s minus 1 plus s squared. This is just going to be, sorry, it's going to be 1 minus s squared plus s squared over s squared s minus 1 minus s squared and s squared cancel. So we have 1 over s squared times 1 over s minus 1. And this is the Laplace transform of t times the Laplace transform of e to t. And so we have demonstrated the convolution property.